what did I do in this life to deserve this? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, wow, I am so glad to see you here today. We are back with another I followed because you guys liked the last one so much, except today I'm trying out a curly hair routine. <laughs> <laughs> today I'm gonna to be following Jasmine Brown's tutorial um, we all know she has gorgeous beautiful long curly hair and I wanted to put to the test if her routine could work on my you know thicker kinky girl you know coily hair texture so I think this is gonna be really funny um, Obviously my hair is not gonna come out like hers, but let's see. I saw she used a few products So we're definitely gonna get right into it But before we get started, I'm going to need you to do one thing for me and one thing only All right, if you're not subscribed, hello, my name is Chizzy Duru And I'm just gonna need you to subscribe really quickly. That's all you know nothing nothing, nothing strenuous So if you are not already subscribed the button should be super red like it's it's so red so all you have to do is click that, click the bell icon right next to that so that you're always notified when I post a new video. And that's it. You see? Simple. All right, guys, let's get into this video. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to be looking, watching Jasmine's wash and go routine plus defined curls natural hair. Hmm. Let's all see if this tin will work for me. Welcome back to my channel. Hey Today girl. I'm going to be showing you guys my wash and go curly hair routine. So if you want to see how I get these bouncy, luscious, moisturized, um, delicious looking. So we already know my hair is not going to look like that, but uh, all right, comment below what you think my hair would look like, okay? Okay, so I just got out the shower. Okay. Is that just getting out the shower? Hair. And I washed her my hair damn. with my hair daughter almond milk shampoo and conditioner. So she shampooed and conditioned and then came on camera, which I also did. I shampooed with um, Kinky Tresses sulfate free shampoo and deep conditioned with Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner. I'll put all my products down below. And I actually deep conditioned my hair because it, this is a wash and go and you know you need all the moisture in your hair especially with a thicker texture. So let me take off my bonnet. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into this. Yeah. Yup. Yeah, yup. Yeah. No, I do not use a plastic cap to deep condition. I use a plastic bag. Okay. Because listen, where I can save money, I will. I deep conditioned with this and um. So she seems to have conditioned her hair all in kind of one section, but you know, that's not happening over here. So I have five different sections, um, my sides, my top, my crown, and the back. Okay, let's continue. Um, now it's time to brush my hair. I haven't brushed my hair. Brush yet. again. I'm not brushing anything. I detangled with conditioner in my hair because no. I put this conditioner in my hair. I didn't rinse all of it out. I basically Same. bring out what would come out. And now this is my hair, unbrushed or uncombed, undetangled. Mm. So now it's time to detangle it. What 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 do you guys' hair look like, unbrushed and undetangled? Because it sure as hell don't look like this. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start on half of my hair, and I'm gonna start at the bottom. <laughs> she is start. ripping through that hair. Okay, well, my hair is already detangled, so, yeah. Okay, so now all of my hair is detangled. How beautiful. And this is just with conditioner in my hair, and that's it. Let me go ahead and add my products into my hair. All right, let's get it started. For a while, you should know that this right here is my favorite conditioner, and I, have I use this as hair product, and yeah. Pretty much That's interesting that she uses this as a hair product. Hair, but this right here, I absolutely love. Okay. And just recently, I found out that they have this exact. Oh, it smells so good. So I use this as a leave-in. Okay. So wow. Get a little bit. Use this little conditioner little. as a leave-in. my hair. And this conditioner is like a thick consistency, so it like clumps all my curls together. And I love any product that does So that. I'm doing this and in sections, girl, because we're not about to play ourselves right now. Wait. 
So I'm adding in the conditioner as she does. She said to um, clump the curls. <laughs> so I clump it. <laughs> and then after that conditioner, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this Diva Curl Super Cream. Okay. Coconut Curl Styler. I have that. Just go ahead and get like three pumps and then I start on my roots and then I just make my way down. And I wish I could just lather their product and on and that's about more. it. All right, let's see. On the ends of my hair. Interesting. Okay, one more cream wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna do this one section for you guys and then, cause if I try and do it all to my hair at one time, it's, it's just not gonna work. Okay. That's actually a really, that's a pretty thick cream right there. Interesting. Okay, Diva Curl. Super cream. I guess that's why it's called super cream. But I only put this in certain parts of my hair. I go ahead and use the olive oil um, hair lotion. Okay, I have that. This product right here is super thick, and if you put too much in your hair, your hair is it? Is feel greasy. I used to hate this product, honestly. It's I not that thick. My hair before, and I was like, oh heck no. It weighed my hair down, and that's what I've heard from a lot of different people. But if you put okay, small wow, she used three different creams. Hair, like, really dry, it works. So good. I like to put this in the back really dry. Oh, that's my whole head. <laughs> my hair and it keeps it so moisturized. This I would not put towards my roots or throughout all of my hair at all. I'm putting it in my roots. It's so thick. It's not that thick. And then I basically just like to put it on the very backs of my hair and just run it in there. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna need more water. More. Like a very small amount. All right. Put it on the ends. Her hair is actually pretty wet though. And then that is it. I'm gonna so add more water to my hair. I'm actually gonna get my wide tooth comb and then just comb all of that product throughout my hair. Make sure it's all even. I have a brush. Okay, after that, this is like the most important part if you want to find curls. Denman brush. Y'all, if you haven't tried a Denman brush and you have curly hair, you are missing out on life. I heard that some people do not like this to detangle and I am all with I don't you. like not it either. But this right here, after you comb all of your hair out and then you brush it through your hair, it just clumps your curls together and it, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. So I don't know if you've watched my oldest videos, but I don't part my hair. I brush all of my hair back and I let it dry back and then I can pick which side I want to go <laughs> out a distinguished part. So I'm just going to split my hair in half. Jesus okay? Christ, man. And you can either just brush your hair through it with this or you can get little sections at a time okay like this. okay if you really want to define curls just do like little sections at a time and then just brush and then you see that bro you just, like, all oh this is gonna be a mess did she, she didn't even add no gel just okay why did i do this so i have my version of a denman here <laughs> oh no Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 honey. <laughs> Let me show you once again. Okay, so you see this? It's kind of together, but it's like not really all the way together. So you just get this, brush it like So the water is definitely helping a lot um, on top of the product to weigh down my hair. But <clears throat> other than that, this Denman brush thing, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Um, I feel like I'm better off smoothing into my hair. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this is right now, but <laughs> okay, I'm done with one section. <laughs> oh wow, she's like done, and I'm I'm only on one section. And after this, my curls are all super. <sighs> wow, if life. If only life could be this easy. Okay, and then last but not least, I like well, it is for some people. Good for you. I just put in my hair all that moisturize, all this defining. I like to lock it in. So I go ahead and use the Steva Curl Archangel Gel. Oh, I don't have that. And this is the gel that I like. Like I've tried the other Steva Curl gel, and I hated it. Like oh damn, so hold on. Okay, guys. So I don't have the Diva Curl Archangel Gel, but I do have the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel, Stronghold Define and Control. So she says she doesn't like this gel because it it's like too much crunch and whatever. Which I mean, 
that means it should be good for my hair then because I need a ton of hold if this style is gonna look like anything today. So I'm just gonna go on with this. I'm gonna put this in my hair in sections um, so that, all right, so that maybe, maybe we can resurrect this style here because right now, <laughs> right now, I don't know what's happening. So I'm gonna take a good amount of gel and rake that through. Probably gonna need a lot more Definitely gonna need a lot more. I don't even like how it feels. It kind of feels like nothing on my hair, TBH. I hope I don't get flaking. I do have quite a bit of product on my hair. Oh, Lord Jesus. My hair feels dry to the touch and it's wet. Oh, this was a terrible idea. Okay, you know what? Let me let me think positive thoughts here. Maybe that will help, you know, because sometimes when you have a negative outlook on things, it causes it to not come out as well. So here it is. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do on top of what she's doing. I have some Annie double prong clips here, and I'm going to clip my hair like so that it kind of hangs when it's drying because I'm just gonna mold this into something like it's this hairstyle is going to work okay let me just let me get that clear because we are not spending x amount of time hold on <laughs> it's not opening as I was saying we are not spending x amount of time on this for it to not look okay so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take these clips all okay, right uh push it down on push down on my hair so that I can get some stretch in here as I am drying my hair when I'm all done. And hopefully, in theory, my hair should be stretched and kind of molded and dried in this form so that it can look kind of cute. You know what I mean? When I am done with all my hair products, I am going to just get a towel and scrunch my hair up upside down so my roots aren't stuck on my scalp because it'll dry that way. I normally use a microfiber towel, but I can't find it. Okay, so here's my non-microfiber towel. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Dope, dope, okay. So basically- Nobody use microfiber towels, sis. <laughs> shake my roots out. I just don't want them stuck on the scalp. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Oh, towel. my hair's gonna be very, very stuck. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. All right, so I'm basically done 90 percent i just got this front section to do and honestly i mean at first i was skeptical but this i mean it doesn't look too bad to me especially for my texture it's not terrible so i have clips everywhere and i'm not sure what it's gonna do to the shape of my hair <laughs> but in theory in my head it I feel like it's gonna work out so um i'm just gonna finish up this last section and you guys get to kind of do it along with me um so i already have conditioner here so i'm now gonna add the super cream like jasmine said okay and i kind of created my own little um technique that's been working i mean i don't know what this is gonna look like but it's kind of been working a little better for my hair and my hair type so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing. After that, I feel like my hair likes this a lot, of course. You know, thicker products usually work for thicker hair textures, so I'm using about that much. Okay. So, when I think about it, I feel like the heavier products actually weigh my hair down, which is kind of good. You know, I kind of want my hair to be weighed down a bit. Okay, so after I put on the... Um, ORS hair lotion then I'm gonna spray my hair with water and like really try and get my hair almost soaking wet Ooh, it's so messy you guys should see my setup right now it's just a freaking mess because with the product and the water you're gonna see my hair is starting like my hair feels a lot heavier and um, I don't know I feel like it's helping with uh, more clumping and definition and you can see it it's like hanging a little more um, so yeah so once I do that 
Then I'm gonna take a section and I'm going to brush. I'm actually using this brush and not the denim. I don't like the denim. I feel like it's ripping through my strands. And then I'm combing through. Oh, this is so messy. And then I'm adding the gel. So I add like a lot of gel. So, okay, and then just going through. The definition on that actually isn't too bad, okay? And then that's it, and then I'm just gonna clip away so that my hair doesn't disrespect me when it's drying. All right, so the product and water is dripping all over my face here. But okay, so Jasmine said, what did she say? I think she said she just air dries her hair, but that is absolutely not happening here. <laughs> No. I'm gonna go sit under a hooded dryer because I am because I am not about to walk around with soaking wet hair. So I'm gonna sit under a hooded dryer for probably like two hours because yeah. And um, I'll be back and show you guys how this looks. I just don't want them to the scalp and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my towel. And just do a little scrunch, scrunch here. Two hours later. You know, growing up, I knew I would always have it rough in life. But, um, I never thought I'd have it this bad, you know? Like, wow. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is a mesmer. <amazement>. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, we're just going to keep watching the video. Maybe, maybe there's more. Because my hair it takes so long to dry. I'm going to go finish my day and I'll be back to show y'all the final results. Okay, it has been some hours now. A lot of hours. How many hours? It's been about like six hours now and my hair is pretty much dry. It's a little wet on the inside, but this is my hair completely air dried. Like when I air dry my hair, it completely small, curls all together. No, wait, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> What did I do in this life to deserve this? Mm? What did I do? What have I done that is so terrible that my hair... So, um, here is my hair after being under the dryer for about an hour and a half. Um, oh, first off, my hair is hard. Okay? My hair is rock solid. Two, my hair is flaking. Can you guys see the snowstorm that's happening on my head? Why am I wasting my time? It's over. You've lost. <laughs> so I'm not even blaming this on Jasmine because to be honest, Jasmine said just to use a little bit of this. I used a lot of bit of this, like a lot. And I just used a lot of product in general, but like, so essentially, this is it, okay? <laughs> Actually, let's do a 360. Okay. Shout out to the volume though, it looks, I'm telling y'all, this would be a look if it wasn't so damn flaky. I mean, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a very big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload from me. That is it. I really don't think I'm trying this again now, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.